Well, the name of the course is Foundations of Business and Entrepreneurship. And uh, in terms of the, the goals for, for the course, we're very interested in teaching engineering students what entrepreneurship is all about. And that doesn't necessarily mean that the students are going to become entrepreneurs, but rather that there's this, what we regard as a tool set, uh, various skills and competencies that we think can be learned through the course of the semester. In my mind, one of the things that this course does that, that, uh, that is different in the curriculum is that it tries to change students' attitude from whatever I think of internally is the thing that is of value to everyone to trying to understand that to create value you have to go out into some marketplace and understand their needs. Who are these people, okay, that are right for your product that are most likely to reach into the pocket and part with a few of their hard-earned dollars to purchase. We spend the first few weeks of the course so, talking about days. what makes for a, a good business opportunity uh, and how do you think about putting together yourself with your uh, passions or your interests and a team of people together with an idea with that might specific. provide some value to a market. It's a balance sheet, if you're going to just give you a quick preview because you're going to be looking at it is a snapshot. We make them do a mini business plan at the beginning and then the rest of the semester uh, is a combination of learning skills, these tool, the toolkit that Stephen was talking about, whether they're financial skills or their marketing skills or whatever kinds of skills they might be, uh, and, uh, and them actually trying to carry out their project. Hands-on advertising was uh, conceived over um, actually a mouse pad from the USTA, it was, a, it was a tennis ball, it was in a circle. Our initial business plan was to find companies that, would go, that were going to be at large trade shows and sell them mouse pads as promotional material. We would design the mouse pads for them, take care of the ordering of the mouse pads for them, and uh, we would have the mouse pads shipped directly to them. Uh, this didn't work for a variety of reasons. The team was just too big for that scope of a project. So and. Like cold calling these companies was pretty difficult. None of, none of us had any drive to do anything at that point. Uh, it was not interesting, it didn't seem like it mattered, and so we were, we, we were basically just sitting doing nothing. We had them come up with other ways to context for positioning or reshaping their opportunity or product, try a bunch of other markets that they could try, experiment. And then finally something clicked and it's like, we have to do something. Uh, and we decided to stick with the mouse pads. And so it was at that point that really we came up with our goal statements. The members of hands-on advertising looked to enhance their interpretation. Which was that we wanted to be a business that uh, turned profit through selling mouse pads and gained interpersonal skills through building relationships uh, with other people, so other people being customers and suppliers and those sorts of things. Just at the end of the course, they've, they've sort of found the niche in sort of legal le yeah. law firms uh, and, uh, and maybe closing in on one very, very big order, which is, which is really pretty exciting. So it's uh, you know, an emotional roller coaster. We don't let them give up. What does success mean in these? And we projects that you've been struggling, you've been really struggling In this with. course, I learned a lot of different things. I think uh, from running the, from working on the business, I think the biggest thing I learned was on team dynamics and how to make a team of very different people, very different working styles, very different even visions for the team work. And I think first lesson is we all have to have the same vision. We all have to be working toward the same thing, uh, wanting the same thing, and agree to achieving that, that end goal in the same way. One of the major things that I got out of this experience was being able to manage nine different people and making sure that everybody's happy with what they're doing and that they're um, completing, it, completing the tasks in, in sequence and also um, making sure that the end goal is being fulfilled. We're trying to change the idea of a an engineering curriculum from being the mindset of an engineering student is a passive solver of problems that are given to her or him, uh, to an active seeker of opportunities to 
explore, work on, solve problems, and see that they get implemented in the world somehow. So that's why we believe that entrepreneurship is a really key component of that, of that sort of whole value chain. Mm -hmm.